morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That's a metaphor. This, oh, this king sucks. Oh, this sucks. What the hell? Seriously, I'm mad at a lot of things right now. I am mad that Connor Hellebuck played the puck, and left it there, and didn't even look. I'm mad that Neil Pionk stopped skating to the puck. I'm mad at the whole team that we let this game get here. I have, I prepare titles for these videos before the games end, based on how the games are going. I can sometimes change them at the last minute for, for certain events, like, for example, if John Gaudreau scores in a shootout, I change it to Johnny shootout. Or I keep it in games like Crease Lockdown. That one I was pretty set with the whole game because it didn't change. This one, I had a working title for a loss. Hanging in there. I had that set. Or hung around or something like that. Um, which would require me looking at a coat hanger, being upset at it. That was working title. It didn't deserve this. You didn't even earn that. Like, what the hell? What the actual was that? Jets lose 2-1 to the Ottawa Senators. In regulation to give Ottawa its third win of the year. Out of 18 games or something like that. What this means now is because you lost to Ottawa, you are no longer a game, you're about half a game above Calgary. All Calgary has to do is win and you're tied with the Calgary Flames. All of that work that we put in to that four game series, gone. That is what you have done. You didn't get a point out of this game. This is the third time you have pissed a game away with under two minutes left. Second time, you pissed the game away under 10 seconds left. And you had a five on five. Like, what was the problem? Seriously. And it's so weird because I'm actually not mad. Like, I, I'm mad. I'm pissed. But I'm actually okay with certain players because I saw them try. I am actually okay with Blake Wheeler's game. Might be an unpopular opinion, given the recent press above him. I thought he stepped up this game in comparison. I thought he did. Um, uh, I thought he was trying to make plays. The score won't reflect that, though, because we lost to the Ottawa Senators! Ah! So let's get into this game. Pierre-Luc Dubois' day-to-day. -day. Perfect news to learn on... A freaking, what is it? On a Saturday morning. Oh, by the way, that trade you made, he's injured now. Thanks. Also, I found this out via SPN, ESPN um, Fantasy Hockey because I have my lineup. Thank God I checked that because no one said, any, the Jets said all until it was game time. Um, so Vesson Langan's in the roster. Thank Christ. It only took having seven defensemen and an injury to get him in. Um, no Galchenik or Paquette for the Ottawa Senators. It's not like it fucking matters now. Um, Wheels already looks faster. Great. Good. Goal fucking star. Um, Stanley puts pucks on net. Great. None of them went in. He did fine, but fuck. doesn't mean if you can't do anything with it. Appleton has a chance, um, stick blocked by a break on a breakaway chance. Yep, fine. 
Um, dancing game is at, dancing Gabe is at the game. That's nice. He didn't deserve this. Like, how could you do that to him? Cop has a chance. Yeah, story of the freaking game. Chances, chances, chances. Good um, defensive play by Pullman. One of the few um, in this game for the defense at all. Um, Matthew Perot was an idiot. First period. I'm losing my voice from screaming at this game because I, I didn't do it on the thing because I was worried it would, like, be sound quality. But I'm pissed off now. It's past the point of mourning this loss. It's now what the happened last night type mentality. It's like, what were you thinking, you idiot? Matthew Perot on not even a two-on-one. It's a, it's a, we're calling it generous if it's a two-on-one. It's pretty much a breakaway decides, you know what's great? Getting assists. I'm sorry? I'm fucking sorry? Decides, yep. Net Perot Appleton, defenseman. Yeah, we're going to pass that one off. Diagonally backwards. Sure enough, defenseman breaks it up. Because of course he dies. We are so two on ones. We've literally, I don't think, it feels like we haven't scored on a two on one in forever. Because all we've done is the same fucking play on a two on one. Rinse, repeat. Like, damn it. And you know what that led to? 0-0 zero, zero after 1. This was a better period than the than the fir last night's Ottawa game. It's first period. But look at the results. Same thing. There's a reason I was somewhat optimistic after that first period as opposed to this game. Because this game, we had chances. It's not We just didn't score. Last game, we had none. We were defending the whole time. But I knew that we could turn around based on how the period ended. This period did not give me that hope. It felt weird the entire time. Every Jets fan I was talking to during watching this game told me it felt off. I 100% believe that. Um, early Ottawa chances in the second period. Yep. Um, yeah. So I typed this up, and I knew that this would either come back to haunt me or not. I typed up, um, Connor Hellebuck is pretty much the undertaker of the Ottawa Senators because he's 7-0. and There goes that! Gonna need that. Magic. That's what, that's what happens when you throw everything else away. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're lucky we got that chair there. Um, no, but like, Hellbuck is like, the streak's dead. Seven and one. The, that, the most famous streak in sports entertainment is dead. Uh, Pressure. Pressure, pressure. There was pressure both sides of the ice, honestly. Um, Jets would score, though, first, which makes this even more infuriating in hindsight. Mark Shifley from Christian Veselainen. Come on, Vesa. Yes! Thank God! Veselainen got an assist! Good job. See how happy I was there? See how much hope I had? An idiot. Didn't know what was coming. Uh, the second line had chances. I was fine with the second line, although it seemed like Kyle Connor couldn't figure out how to get there. He figured, okay, he got better in the third with trying to figure out how to get in, in tight on chances but he was struggling to just find a way to the net. Actually, the entire game we were. Sends pressure. Um, Wheeler takes a... Oh, no. Blah, 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 before that. Uh, Dadanov. Backhand tap-in. Kind of a tip-in type backhand tap-in. To make it 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this is, um, 
turnover by... Turn that over. Oh, is that cop's turnover? Oh, you don't like to see it. Followed by Sen's chances. Um, lots of Sen's chances. Wheeler takes a roughing penalty. This is the one black spot on Wheeler's game, I think. This penalty, I don't want to say seems soft, because I understand why Wheeler was upset, because it was, a sh it was what he saw as a shot at the goalie. The pushing gets called on a rough. In a 1-1 hockey game, that got called on a rough. There was no clear punch. There were shoves. I'm sorry? Why? Like, I, I feel like, actually, it's going to become even more clear how annoying this penalty is when I get to the third freaking period. Um, Sends pressing on the pen, pen, power play. Um, Paul gets called for a hooking. Um, we, do, we don't do anything on the power play. Um, and Appleton gets a chance to end the period. And Appleton shouldn't have passed this off. She just shot it, which is a theme right now, which is annoying me because it's giving me 2014 Jets flashbacks. Like, stop passing the fucking puck. Shoot the fucking puck. Just shoot it on net. Yeah, yeah, those Jets. I know. I'm, I'm just end of the second see. period. It was 1 1. Um, second line of chances, yep. Um, I thought there was a missed interference penalty on Cop. Cop pretty much gets shoved right down out of the way before he can even get to the puck. That annoyed me a bit. And then I, I don't know who it was against, but I thought there was a hooking call that could have been called for the Ottawa Senators right, like, maybe two minutes later. Um, Lewis gets a chance. Lewis has been doing okay, actually. Uh, Kyle Connor gets a chance. This is where he kind of began to figure it out. But still, he still tried to go, like, through three people, and it just... You're, there's no way. Um, Hogberg gives a lot on the far side. And I think there's actually a meme of this of how far out he was over, like double covering to the side to cover short side. He gives a lot on the far side. Like, it's not always, but like at least three, per, three out of ten, you got you shoot for the shoot far side on him. Hellebuck makes big saves. Yeah, he did. Um, I got annoyed at one because it looked like Ehlers um, tagged back, tagged himself up, and they still call it offside. Stress. Yes, lots of stress. Um, followed by a chance by Anisimov. Ooh, I thought that was it. That was going to be it. <sighs> Five minutes left. This happens about the 4.30 minute mark left in the period. Don't know who. There was a brutal, brutal missed um, cross-checking penalty against Adam Lowry. I screamed at the TV, what the f is this? Um, that was garbage. And it literally stopped him from going to chase up the play. Because if, if anyone remembers, that five minutes left in the period, we were buzzing. We were buzzing. We were trying. We were so close to a couple chances. La and this was when, like, Hobart, Hogberg kind of got stuck, went out of his net a little bit. Um, like, high in the crease. There were chances. Missed cross-check. Brutal. It's not the reason we lost, though. That would come at 19.52. Brady Kachuk deflects a shot for Ottawa to take the lead. Let's see if it hits something on the way in. Right. That thing just dips down in a hurry. 
There are so many things wrong with this play. One, Hellebuck plays the puck really close, close to the no play zone and leaves it there. Number two, Neil Pionk is not looking up the ice to see where the Ottawa players are coming from. And he doesn't go after the puck himself. Number three, there is no way of, there's no, like 10 seconds left, clear out the fucking screens. There should not be, like, you need to clean that up. There wasn't a lot of zone time for the sense in this play. Wasn't needed. So clean that up. This is pathetic. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest, we deserve to lose this game. I thought we could at least escape with one point. And we didn't do that. Again. For the third time in a for the third time it feels like a row. Look at our we have five losses now. Three of these losses are completely, completely avoidable. 0 0.8, Lindholm on the power play, 8.2. And you've now lost three games against teams that are competing with you for these third and fourth spots. And you know what? I think Jets, as Jets fans, we should be realistic here. Montreal and Toronto are going to make the playoffs. I don't want to say 100%. 80% sure. Both of them make the playoffs. Those are the teams that I want to win games when they're not playing the Jets. Because they run up the score and they take wins away from teams that we are competing with for three and four. Now, I'm not saying we can't beat those two teams. I'm saying that if I'm looking at how well-rounded they are compared to other teams, I would rather have the Jets sit comfortably in third than fight for their life for fourth. Because there's still pieces of our team that are, are hitting their stride and pieces of their team that are kind of hit and miss there, like our defense. So honestly, just making it to the show and let magic happen from there. Like, I'm, I'm not, despite what the, the, the title is, I'm not putting this entire win, this loss on Hellebuck. Hellebuck played well. That said, this is like a bad dream of Hellebuck going out of his net and bad things happening. Hellebuck is a Vesna caliber goalie. He's having razzy caliber bad luck <laughs> that's that's the oscars of bad movies for anyone who's not really um why did like the room go on there or something no no that that's oscar caliber <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm, i don't even want to smile right now it's i'm just i'm just really pissed off um we'll go top three performers um I didn't like a lot. Honorable mention is Hellebuck. He didn't do a lot wrong, but that play at the end, with eight seconds left, just take a goddamn look. Just look. I'm gonna give three wheels. Not because he was necessarily the best guy out there, but because he played better than he has in the last few periods, and that's a step forward for him. I'm going to give number two to Mason Appleton because the entire game I felt like he could have scored a goal, and he was getting close to the point where teammates were throwing away idiot chances to try to get him to score. Matthew Perot! Um, Number one is Chris, Christian Veselainen. This is easy. This is easy. Because I didn't see him a lot, but when I did, I didn't want to scream at him. I was happy with how he played. Um, I'm happy he got a point. He deserves a point. Um, people are saying that pass was a bit, bit of luck. I could tell you that this last goal was a bit of luck. So yeah, no, um, honestly, 
gonna leave it there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, or at least were equally mad about this loss, go ahead and leave a like on the, on the, on the video. Um, we would very much appreciate it. My tone does not suggest anything else. I'm actually very thankful and appreciative of the uh, subscribers that we have and the views that these get and the likes that we get. And comment down below your thoughts on the game. And honestly, if it's just frustration about this loss, I will understand. I will totally understand. Um, I will be free to talk about it. I'm totally fine with that. Um, oof. And yeah, no, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be great. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Nolan Hockey Podcast. Disappointing.